Hello and welcome to Spoonful of Sugar. I'm Sarah and I am so happy that you're here with me. Just a little bit of an introduction to my channel. As I said before, my name's Sarah, I am from the UK, I am a nurse, but I am also a bit of a makeup and beauty addict. So uh, my, one of my New Year's resolutions was to start a beauty vlogging slash nurse slash travel uh, YouTube channel. So here I am, nice to meet you all. And I just think my channel is going to be about well, I know my channel is going to be about, I'm going to be reviewing makeup and beauty. Uh, I'm going to be going over nursing, survival tips, questions about the ward, questions about nursing school. We all know how tough that is. And also, as I mentioned in my tagline above, I am going to move to the Middle East uh, in quite soon, in about hopefully about six months so you will be coming with me on that journey and I hope you enjoy it. Another few pointers, I'm not a professional makeup artist, I do absolutely adore makeup, I have quite a collection, I did work at a makeup counter when I was a student nurse which was the best student nurse job ever and I really found my love of makeup there. I do love trying different looks and I like to sort of mix things up on nights out, I wear makeup every day, I like to try different beauty things. And like I said with my nursing, I can't wait to hear from all you student nurses, other nurses out there, because there's not a lot of nurses vlogging out there on YouTube, so that would be great if we could create a little network. And also expats, people moving to the Middle East or people that already live there, it would be great to contact and reach out to you people as well. I apologise today for the, firstly, the the sound. Surprisingly, the weather is quite nice today in the UK. Actually, I have to have the window open for the first time in a long time. So I really apologise if the sound come in through. And the lighting, it's, as I said, it was a nice day today. So I've just used natural light, which is the best makeup light, I would say so myself until I sort some studio lighting out this is what I will be doing so here I am and this is my first video I really hope you like it I'm going to start my top lip products so when I say lip products we have lip glosses lip stains lip balms lipsticks as you know there's loads out there on the market so lots to choose from my video today will just have a range of high-end and low-end not too many I'm not gonna overload you I'll just start uh, straight away okay my first product this is just something uh, you can buy in the drugstore and it is by Nivea as you can see Nivea lip butter that's it this is just something I will put on my lips at night, I particularly put this on at night, really whack it on. Um, I have tried so many lip balms. I'm also a bit of a lip balm addict, actually. I usually have about five in my bag for work. Um, this is a lip butter. So I'll just open it. Okay. So as you can see, it's actually white, um, but it doesn't go on white. So you don't look like you've eaten a bag of rising sugar or something. It's This one doesn't have a smell. Um, a scent sorry <laughs> doesn't have a scent and it is really nice I mean there's no point in me really swatching this uh, but I will do anyway you can't you can it's really sheer I mean you can't see any of that there so it's just really good they also do I got this in a set for Christmas um, and you can buy it at most sort of uh, drugstore or boots over here super drug I guess you could buy it in some chemists as well so that is a great little product. Other lip balms to note that I don't have here would be the EOS lip balm. Um, I've actually run out of that. Um, Kim Kardashian really pushes that. Uh, they, they kind of look like they're in a ball, like a red ball or a yellow ball. And they are really good as well. I like the packaging. They're just great. And uh, they're my two main ones at the minute, really. Obviously, Vaseline's are just a great product. Uh, just to throw in your handbag as Another well. tip if you're wearing a bold lip is to have a soft toothbrush uh, with a little bit of Vaseline. Just buy a really soft baby toothbrush and just rub those over if you get a lot of dry skin because 
sometimes if you're wearing a bold lip um, or even a nude lip you can get a lot of dry skin so it's really difficult to remove. Let's get started on the good so, stuff. First of all I have to show you my makeup bag. Oh, it's amazing, I actually love it. Um, once you get to know me you'll know that I absolutely actual love pugs they are so cute and these this i picked up this makeup bag at the weekend actually um it's by a company called cat's eye ironically and they are just the cutest pugs i've ever seen oh shining don't shine there we go oh i just want to squeeze the face they're so cute so back to lipstick sorry uh here we go the first look I'm going to show you, the first one, is a real different look that I would usually go for. I am, I like my nudes, nude and pink lips, uh, sometimes coral, and this is a look sort of, it's kind of a last year's look actually, and it's not a real sort of spring look, so I don't know why I'm doing this one first, but here we go. This is MAC Rebel, there we go, MAC Rebel, and excuse my lovely nursey nails there we go so it looks very dark in the packaging when i went to mac to sort of try and see this when i opened it i thought oh it's not going to suit me at all uh, but actually it is a real it's a really nice color. i'm going to swatch all of these lip products but also at the end i'll take a picture and i'll just show you what they look like as well it's a satin lipstick as well so can you see there, it really is a lot different to how it looks. It's a real berry pink colour, gorgeous. Love wearing it with like a dark navy blue, great for nights out. Uh, other tips with this is that I would put a lip liner on with it just so it doesn't bleed out, but it's just lovely. Around the £13.50 mark, um, but I think that'll last me a long time because it's not something that I'd wear on a everyday basis but certainly for a night out so what's next in the pug bag this is a something i saw on another beauty bloggers channel um oh just swiping it past you there it's the revlon lip butters and it's fairly new as you can see because i've still got the barcodes on it and it is in the color papaya as you can see there okay number 27 this is i really like these these are i would say uh, my mum actually has the other one uh, in strawberry shortcake this is a very quite an orangey but they are a mix between a i would say a lip stick and a lip balm i always smell lip products i don't know whether anyone else does so here we go i'll swatch this for you this would be a very nice spring color so I'm putting quite a bit on here and as you can see it's quite sheer compared to that absolute bold rebel that we had before um, but it's really nice on, looks really good on so I would really recommend these. I think these retail, I got two for, two for £10 so and they look like this, I quite like the packaging, I think they're quite, it's quite quite nice and I do sometimes I take these to work a lot actually these are good to wear for work because as I said before your lips can get really dry especially if you're working a long shift and um, I really like it it's just a really nice color so go out and get these this new shade so um, hopefully they'll still be around definitely you can buy these in the drug stores uh, boots super drug I would imagine supermarkets especially in the UK they do sell a lot of uh, Revlon products so there we go so my third product is okay sorry about that bit stressful my camera ran out of battery yay uh, my next product was the Rimmel Apocalypse um, lip lacquer there we go like the packaging kind of diamondy so this I would say is it's this is in the shade Celestial I will put this onto my hand now this is a mix between I would say a matte and a shine <laughs> quite difficult it's kind of dries quite matte it goes on really nicely um, again smells like apples I enjoyed that a lot 
it's really it's a really different lip product it's really nice it doesn't stay that glossy all the time uh, I wore it the other day and I did have to reapply it a few times one, once this gloss had sort of sh sheened down it was uh, just a lovely I would say a rosy color really like that really good I think I might go and buy the red one so there we go that's the apocalypse the next product I'm going to show you is a high-end product and it's a bit beautiful. Uh, it is the Chanel lipstick. I can't believe I've just forgotten to tell you. I think I told you. The, Apo the Apocalypse is retails at about £6-ish. Okay, so here we go. Next product is the Chanel um, lipstick in Imitable and look at this packaging it is just classic and this is the best bit get ready look nice sunshine coming in there click and then it pulls out and it's just just one of those products I absolutely adore I actually got this as a gift and I just love it so much it is a very bold red as you can see the night the sunshine shining against it um it is imitable is this one uh it's an iconic red but it's supposed to be uh it has got some glitter pigment in it it's very bold on i have some pictures on my instagram which i'll link below of me in this it looks here in the it looks quite red but i will show you as you can see i've used a lip brush to apply this and i'll talk about lip brushes at the end uh so that's why it's a bit squir scrunched in so here we are. Thank you, Crow, for enjoying the Chanel. Really bold red, and that can build up a lot. I mean, really, that is such a bold look, and I just love it. Don't know if you can see the glitter particles in it there. You might just a bit, but it's just lovely. Really love that product. Not sure what that's retailing at. I would say above the £20 mark, but I just think if you just want one high-end product in your makeup bag, I just think they are lovely so go to Chanel try it out and see what you think as well my next one is the lipstick that I've got on today and it's my favorite it is MAC cream sheen cream cup it is just gorgeous okay well loved as you can see so it's a cream sheen lipstick and it's in cream cup uh, a lot of people get confused with that so MAC have lots of different ki types of lipstick amplified satin cream sheen so the, the name is always underneath it's a great color it is I would say a cool quite a cool pink quite a baby pink can be worn on any sort of skin tone your light hair your dark hair just great absolutely love this lipstick iconic a lot of beauty bloggers, a lot of vloggers I just love this and I do too. Before this I had Hue, I actually got that from America and that is more of a nude whereas this has more of a pink in it. But there you go, just love it. Really great. Quite glossy. As you can see I haven't got a gloss over what I've got on now so it's just lovely and this will retail at about fourteen fifty, and it's just a great thing to try. It's lovely with a lip liner and I'll show that in another one of my videos. It's just great, great everyday colour. Sometimes I wear it for work. Just a little dab and a little bit of uh, gloss or some just some clear balm and there we go. Moving on swiftly, another uh, High Street product. This has sort of gone round the family, my mum and my sister. I think I bought this originally and this is by Collection collection and it's called lock and hold in the shade body pop there we go so looks great looks very baby pink there and i just think it's a great uh, they're, they're great lip glosses really enjoyed these comment below if you did as well i'm not sure whether they still sell them i think they retail at about five pounds so uh, just ignore my lovely short nursy nails and uh, when I do have time off, I will show you some lovely nail polishes. Up to six hour wear, not sure about that one. Have Apply it quite a few times during the day, but definitely worth popping in your handbag. Really good, cheap product there. Moving on is another one of my favorite lipsticks. Great for summer and great for a bold look. Great for a night out. 
and it is Vegas Vault by MAC. Love it. Um, looking at that compared to uh, my Revlon Lip Butter, it's along the same lines but it's a lot warmer. Um, I love this lipstick. I bought this in Birmingham Airport. Uh, it's just great. It's just a really fun colour. Looks quite red here. Um, but you can see it's got that real orangey summer vibe going on. Love it. Just think it's so fun. When I wear it with sort of aqua green tops or just a black if you want that really simple look with just a nice line over the top. Love it. $14.50 around about that mark. I don't know, they keep increasing prices in MAC. There it is. And I think this is a, this is an amplified, so lots of pigment there. Really high pigment, a bit glossy. And also on days, uh, I have worn it with just one layer and it's looked, you know, or just a little bit and it's looked really nice. Really like that. Definitely worth a buy for the summertime. Just a few other extra bits, just while I wipe all the colours off my hand, is I I do sometimes, uh, like I said, when putting on lip products, I do, hello pugs, I do like to sometimes use a lip brush and I will be doing um, a video on brushes but I'm just going to show you this one here. This is a Real Techniques, the detailer brush, detailer brush. This is great for putting on, as you can see, it's a real small tip there sorry i've got not the cleanest of brushes um and it's just lovely really like the real techniques brushes really worth a buy so yeah so just a little array of my favorites at the minute so i hope you enjoyed it and i will be popping some pictures of all the looks on my lips at the end of the video so don't miss that if you like this video, please, please, please thumbs up and subscribe. It would mean the world to me. Thank you so much for watching. Comment below your favourite lip products. I'd really like to see uh, what you guys are into at the minute and any anything else you'd like to ask me and I shall try my best to answer it. Thank you for watching. Bye.